Hello, this is Pizza Scientist, and today we're doing another line writer tutorial. In my Roblox group, Pizza Studio Official, I got a great question from Subdown Plays. They asked, How do you edit the spawn on the line runner template? Well, I'm going to show you how. But first, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and fun gaming videos. Also, you can join my group, Pizza Studio Official. Now, let's get started. So the first thing you need to know is you need to have your explore window and your properties window open. After you have these open, all you need to do is go and close your explore because it's going to be open. And then go to replicated storage, that's where it's going to be. Then it's under path modules, start module. And then this is the starting point or the spawn point. So. Uh, the thing is though, it's in uh, replicated storage, so the only way to uh, edit it is you have to grab this. You can just hold left click and grab it, and then you need to stick it onto workspace, so it'll stick it into workspace. So now if you saw that, here it is. It just spawned in the workspace. Um, so here you can edit it. You can also move it in workspace and it won't actually break anything. Like that's where it was and if I like move this like over there or something and if I play it you'll see um, it'll still work. <laughs> oh yeah, before you play test, uh, you have to stick it back where it was so you have, all you have to do is drag it back under um, start module. Because if you don't, um, what well, you just saw will happen. <laughs> um, okay. So now it will work. Yeah, you just have to remember to uh, put it back into replicate storage. Because if you don't, it won't work. So yeah. So I'm going to stick it back into a workspace. Then I'm going to show you some of the things you can do. So here, under the group, we can look at all the parts. None of these parts you need to worry about, but here you can change like the material, which I've already done. Here I made the top part grass, and you can just change the material or uh, whatever properties you want of the blocks here. And uh, you can also add parts. So if I spawn a part, if I'm just gonna make like a big square, I'm gonna anchor it so it doesn't fall or anything. I'm just gonna stick it right there. Then I'm going to grab the part that's in workspace, and I'm just going to drag it under the group. Um, so now th this part is part of the starting stage, and if I take the starting stage, and I grab it and put it back into start module, and I play test, it now has a giant block right there. So you can add parts, just make sure they're anchored, because it'll fall apart and stuff, but you can do interesting things with unanchored parts if you want. And so I'm just going to customize it a little bit and then I'll be back right with you. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these pizzas onto my starting thing. So I'm going to get the meshes here in workspace and I'm simply just gonna drag it onto the group. So now the pizzas are part of the starting stage. So all I gotta do is take this back into start module and then let's test play and the pizza should be on that side. So now there is pizza surrounding the player at the starting point. <laughs> so that's how you change the starting point in the line runner template. You can also check out my game Pizza Run under my group, Pizza Studio Official. Yeah. This is what it looks like. You just click pizza and it says num and you can jump over yeah. flaming pizzas and just pe basically it's a pizza fight yeah. line runner. So go check that out. Yeah. So thanks for joining me today. Make sure you put your starting stage back in the replicated storage. Also, please subscribe. It really helps us out. You can follow us on Twitter or Instagram to hear about our next videos. And you can check out our other line tutorials here on Pizza Family Gaming. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.